everyone, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today in a very busy central London. As always, I'm here at McLaren London to join my buddy Zen Car Driver for yet again another collection day. Um, throwing it back in the past, we've had the Aston V600, one of seven coupes worldwide. Extremely special, the first one that was collected in existence, if that makes sense. We've had the Hurricane Performante uh, over at McLaren in South Kensington, and we've had the 600 LT here from McLaren London. And I'm here today for the latest addition to the fleet, a 720S Spider, And I believe it's sat pride of place with the cover on, joined by some other pretty special McLarens. So let's head on inside the dealership and check this thing out. Okay then, before we get the covers off the 720S Spider, let's have a little whiz round uh, the other cars in the showroom because, I mean, we've got a P1 and a Senna. This must be the first time for me that I've seen both a P1 part next to a Senna. Both Ultimate Series uh, cars, but both with completely different um, design cues. I mean, the P1 is a very sculptural, very smooth and almost elegant hypercar. Obviously a member of the uh, Holy Trinity, the big three, the P1, the 918, and the LaFerrari. It was released pioneering uh, the hybrid technology. Obviously the P1 has a twin turbo V8 paired alongside an electric engine uh, producing well into the 900 brake horsepower. And then the Senna is also a twin turbo V8 but with no hybrid technology at all. And McLaren's kind of goal for this car was to make it just as aggressive and track focused as possible. You guys may remember I went out in a Senna, in fact it was Shmi's car uh, a few weeks ago now which was unbelievable just around here in central London. But this specific car finished in Paris blue. The 720S's launch colour, I believe. We've got the roof snog, the whole roof, in fact, painted in gloss black. We've got the uh, satin carbon package instead of the gloss carbon. We've got all the mirrors on the nose bridge, on the front splitter, everywhere, of course, on that gigantic rear wing. This one is, of course, a UK or an EU spec. So we've got the three exhausts rather than the US spec, which has two. But this thing, every time I see a Senaman, it just, looks absolutely incredible makes the p1's wing look a little bit tame <laughs> but this one uh, finished in volcano orange again the launch color uh, for the p1 it's only covered about 100 miles and both of them are actually for sale here at mclaren london it's uh, orange calipers as well bit of a unique touch black interior as well but I mean, how cool do they look together 720s which we'll get to shortly what looks to be a 600 lt coupe uh, obviously this reminds me of when we collected uh, Zencar Driver's 600 LT, what was it? it, was probably late last year I think. Super, super cool colour and still the best colour I've seen for that car, which was of course a Vega Blue. We have a bright orange 720S and then tucked away in the, oh we've got gold wheels on this 570 Spider. Look at this, stunning colour though, look at that. Anyway, now we've had a quick look around the showroom, can't get over these two absolute weapons here. Let's get the covers off the 720S Spider and take a look at this thing because I haven't really spent any time with one yet. Obviously I saw one briefly at Geneva Motor Show, but this spot, well, it must be probably one of the first customer cars in the UK. So front end there, this is gonna be good and I don't even know the spec, so that's gonna be a nice surprise. So it is time to get the covers off. I have the magic controller for the automatic car cover. Three, two, one. Let's get the cover off this. Oh yes. Wow. So I've actually been speaking to the guys here at McLaren. This is the first 720S Spider that they have delivered here. And it matches the coupe. Tell me your story. Tell me what made you change your mind. Oh. How you move forward. And still go. So everybody, meet Dave, who's the sales executive here at McLaren London. Uh, I'm just going to kind of hand it over to you so you can run around the car because you spec'd it with, uh, yeah. with Zen Car Driver, didn't you? So this was an easy car to spec because ultimately uh, Zen Car Driver's already got a coupe. Yep. Um, so we did very much sort of adapt the spec that he's got at the moment and kind of evolve it to what you see in front of you here. Um, so in no particular order, we've got Glacier Metallic uh, paint, which was an elite level of paint for this car. Uh, that's complemented by some really nice accent colours. So not only is the interior, due to the fact that it's a luxe spec car, 
uh, a tan interior, but equally on the exterior of the car, we've got quite a lot of the carbon fibre panels, which really break up the exterior. Equally, we've got the five twin spoke alloy wheel, complete with diamond cut finish, which again is a great coloured wheel, because when you look at it, you've got accents on the wheel that complement the body colour, and then you've got the contrast from the painted elements on the wheel itself. Uh, the wheels themselves, really, really nice, lightweight designer wheel, and that again has been complemented with the polished McLaren brake caliper to again just give a little bit of contrast in that area of the car. Um, this colour though is. It's I mean, let's just have a little zoom in. It's here. great how, depending on the light and the colour, it kind of shape shifts a little bit depending sure. on whether you've sort of got it under direct sunlight, whether yeah, it's yeah, on yeah. cloud. So, really, really nice, desirable colour combination on the car. Equally, the fact that we've put some carbon fibre on it just complements Yeah, so the, you've got carbon packs one and two, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's right. So, so similar to one, the 600 LT. Exactly right. So, pack one gives you your exterior mirrors, yep. your bonnet vents, and the rear intakes. Uh, okay. And then pack two, it's quite a nice pack because it's the entire front, oh, wow. uh, the front splitter of the vehicle. I didn't notice that. To the rear bumper of the car. Um, so that's really nice. And then what we've concentrated on is making this Zencar driver's usable supercar. Yep. So we've included all of the niceties to make the car usable, not only on the track, but on the road. So 360 park assist, so you get an aerial view of the car from above when you're maneuvering. Uh, a front vehicle lift feature, so you can increase the front axle ride height to get over the nasty speed bumps. Yeah, London. a must have. <laughs> uh, exactly right. Uh, rear view camera, parking sensors are all in there. Um, in addition, we've upgraded the stereo. Being okay. a spider, really, really nice to have the roof down, obviously, but sort of add wind noise and external elements mean having the punchy stereo is a really good yeah. option. Uh, like we were saying off camera, though, this interior wouldn't work on something like a bright orange car no, or maybe no, no, even something no. like the on P1 or Senna. But coloured car, it's really lovely. It looks quite stunning. a classical luxury interior. Have you got some white stitching on there as well? Is that white stitching? Yeah, yeah, quite right. So you've got an almond white stitch um, that again just lifts, you know, the interior up to an even higher level. It makes it um, so bright, doesn't it? I can imagine. Well, yeah. I haven't sat in there yet, but. And what's lovely, actually, speaking of brightness, the one thing we haven't talked about is that this car's got the brand new option of the MSO electrochromic roof. Oh. That's a great option because when the roof is up you can alter how much light passes through the actual glass panel. Oh, so you I can see. either have it pretty much totally transparent yeah. or the complete opposite, oh, um, which is a really nice feature that they've launched for the We've car. We've got these flying buttresses here, which are glass as well, which we were speaking about off camera. Yeah, quite right. So these are a new feature that they've integrated for the Spider. So the coupe doesn't have any flying buttresses, but mm -hmm. the Spider does. Um, not only do they increase a little bit of downforce over the rear of the vehicle, um, but equally, because they're made of glass, they complement the idea of visibility. So again, sure. for usability, yep. when you're manoeuvring, you're looking over the rear quarter parking, uh, it just means that you can see straight through. So for a vehicle of this type, it's quite unparalleled to have this level of usability. Definitely, yeah. I mean, the 720S has got so much visibility, well, especially the, the coupe, yeah. so it's nice to Exactly. It's, uh, and again, continued. with the doors, you know, they've tried to mirror everything that's great about the coupe yeah. uh, in the Spider. So, you know, whilst the doors are mounted more conventionally for a McLaren at this point, yep. still being a dihedral design, they, you know, they couldn't mount them in the roof section like on the coupe. Mm. That was a great option for the coupe because it means the door doesn't actually protrude far out from the yeah, chassis when sure. you're trying to get in and out. However, um, they've actually shortened the length of the doors ever so oh, slightly, really? I believe, okay. which just means that they go more up instead of out. Um, okay, yeah. So you're not really sort of, you know, being penalised for having mm. a spider in terms of being able to park in a really tight, yeah, confined yeah. environment. And did you say with Carbon Pack 2, we've got the rear diffuser as well? I might Not the rear diffuser, so the rear bumper assembly. Yeah. Oh, okay. So ignore our cover reveal. But, <laughs> uh, but yeah, the entire rear bumper. Um, speaking with Zencar Driver, we decided that the diffuser is so low to the ground and the sure, standard yeah. palladium finish is so similar in colour to carbon fibre that ultimately spec as well, it? it doesn't really miss not having yeah. a carbon fibre diffuser. Um, Sports exhaust, we forgot. Ah, sports yes, exhaust. sports exhaust. Uh, so, again, being a spider, what's a great option is that with the roof up, you can mm. lower the rear window. Ah, the yeah, which is there, here, isn't it? The top of it. Yep. Um, so, you can let all of the noise in, a little bit of airflow, but yep. all of the cracks and bangs that seem to come out of the exhaust <laughs> in sport or track mode, uh, they're much more evident with the yeah, spider. Yeah. 
and equally it just adds to the visceral feeling yeah. that you get mm. when you do drive the car. Um, so on a personal note, big congratulations to Zen Car Driver. Oh, yeah. This is the third car that I've had the pleasure of being involved with him mm -hmm. here at McLaren London. So we started off um, January 2018 with a 720S Coupe. We then looked at 600 LT arriving in November, that I believe you filmed yep, yourself. Yeah, I was there for that. Uh, and now we, here we are, what seems like a lifetime later, <laughs> it's only four months, and, uh, and yeah. Uh, We're back with the, with the spider. spider. Yeah. I love how, because I didn't know about the spec of this, obviously you helped, yeah. helped me spec the car, but I had no idea, and I have no idea of the uh, future McLaren, which is well, that's all very on the much, horizon. Much, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no one's going to find that out until you I'm very come up here to film it. I think all, all I can say, but I do, all I know is it's a, it's a one-off colour. Yes. Which is very yes. interesting. Which is a very fun thing. And uh, yeah. I'm not going to reveal anything, but yeah, let's just say we'll be back here everyone soon. is going to be absolutely <laughs> loving that. It's <laughs> stunning. Um, but yeah, no, this. Uh, every, ever, ever since the, the 720S Coupe came out, I always knew that the Spider would work. Yeah. And having like really kind of spent some time with one now up close. Mm. I can 100% agree with that. Yeah. It, it, especially in this spec, with the, like a very classy spec, it just well, works. Well, I mean, what's great with all of the McLarens that we have here in the showroom is mm. the fact that they've got carbon fibre chassis. Uh, yes, normally, sure. you chop the roof off of a car, everything goes a bit wobbly, yeah, you have yeah. to stiffen it up. You know, we can actually see the tub, and it's worth noting as well, um, this, has, this car has had the option of the visible oh, carbon yeah. monoclines. Oh, that's really cool. Um, so you get this kind of forged carbon effect um, that's awesome. throughout the entire chassis and then the conventional pre-preg carbon, mm. you can actually see it. If you just look at the A-pillar ah, gotcha. on the inside of the windscreen yep. uh, there. So due to the fact that it's all made of carbon, mm. when we chop the roof off of this car, there's no need to stiffen anything yeah. up at all. The only weight penalty the car experiences is, I think it's 49 kilograms, which okay. is the weight of the electric motors yeah, associated yeah. with the roof mechanism. And when you look at the comparison to Ferrari 488, mm. Coupe to Spider, Lamborghini Aventador, Coupe to Roadster, yeah. um, you know, the penalty that those cars suffer is quite a lot more than yeah. we've got with this. And yeah, that's a um, super nice touch. I love it. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it's quite subtle. Yeah. Um, but when you, it's one of those things that you can't unsee it. So now yeah, we sure. open the door of one yeah. of I'm drawn straight to I like this as well, because normally they can be carbon or Alcantara, can't yeah. they? But, but I again, like how that's... The luxury sort of mm. configuration that Zen Car Driver wanted to go with um, lends itself really nicely to breaking up um, the sill with a little bit of colour yeah. and a little bit of McLaren branding at the same time. I can't get over that interior though. Obsessed. <laughs> yeah. The only difference you'll spot is the interior colour is obviously slightly different to the previous coupe um, yeah, I'm that the Zen Car Driver had. But if you actually look at the steering wheel, you will notice this car has the extended MSO carbon fibre shift paddles. Ah, little so those touches, weren't yeah. an option uh, at the original launch of the coupe. So that gotcha. wasn't on the car um, sort, of pre, sort of previous to this. Yeah, one, yeah. You could specify them later on in the 720's life, but, mm -hmm. um, but ultimately it's a nice thing to have. Yeah. If you like going up and down the box, they give a really nice tactile feel. First start up of the new, should we call it the Zenmobile? Is that, is that a <laughs> wordy name? Out onto the streets of London then for the very first time. Gently does it then on the, uh, <laughs> on the pavement. There we go, that is one 720S Spider collected. Once again, a huge congratulations to Zen Car Driver and a huge thank you as well for always inviting me along to these collection days. Uh, there's plenty more to come later this year, that is for sure. I mean, just how good does this thing look? Officially the first 720S Spider that London McLaren have delivered. I'm not sure about the rest of the UK, but it's definitely one of the early cars. Looks fantastic and I love how it is kind of identical to the coupe which he previously had. But anyway, that is it for today's video. A slightly simple and short one, but I hope you guys have enjoyed nonetheless. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures. Stay